What's going on guys, my name's Invisible at Tricks, and today... What's going on guys, last week's game update brought quite a game changing rework to the magic spellbook on mobile. It's now so much easier to see the information about a spell, and they also added filters, which has made magic training methods a lot easier and some better to do on mobile. You can filter through the combat, teleport, and utility spells, and you can also remove spells that you don't have the level to cast or don't have the runes to cast. For each spell that's removed from the spellbook, each icon gets bigger, which makes it so much easier easier to tap on the spell and you'll never miss tap as you might have before. Cursing and stunning on mobile is so much easier since you don't have to move a mouse and both of the areas that you have to tap are very very large. Casting high level alchemy is quite difficult on mobile but for lower levels using confuse curse and weaken with a very negative magic bonus is a great way to train your magic. A method that isn't super mainstream is superheating and superheating iron ore actually gives a 100% chance of success which makes the current GP per XP for smithing XP only 2 GP per XP. On top of that, you can get up to 100k magic XP per hour. The higher level ores can give up to 80k smithing XP per hour, but things like mithril, adamant, and rune, you need a lot of coal, which means you have to bank a lot, and that's probably a little easier on the PC version. Enchanting jewelry is another thing that became a lot easier in this update. You don't have to move a mouse and you can very easily tell which ones are enchanted and which aren't by looking at the jewelry icon. Enchanting jewelry can be super profitable and decently fast magic XP at the same time. If you'd like to give it a try, make sure to google a calculator to see which one will make you the most or you can play around on the grand exchange to find one that works. Passive magic training has also become a lot easier now, things like magic imbue and using humidify with a fishbowl, there's a really low chance of misclicking and you can really easily tell when your spell is ready to use. Overall, this was an awesome old school RuneScape mobile update, definitely making magic so much easier. I remember when I PK'd with Darox on my tablet, I kept misclicking on the vengeances, so I might have to give that another try after this update. Anyways, if you enjoyed this short video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more OSRS videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.